ラウンドスポーツさんの提供でお送りします。Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it this very special episode 20 of OJFWA Fight TV. This is Johnny Walters here, and we are awaiting the entrance of none other than our world women's champion, Mary Regan. Now, she has made very few appearances on Fight TV, and it's not like it's beneath her or anything, trust me, she's as humble as it comes.、Uh, but. Uh, the fact of the matter is, usually we don't broadcast、uh, championship matches here. They're usually for the really, really big shows. Because we hold championships in very high regard. However, she did have a very, very special championship match with OJFWA co founder Reiko Hikawa. And what a special match that was. That's going to be on our list of top matches for sure. And that's not to take any away, anything away from her opponent here. Although this is not a championship match, mind you. This is an exhibition match. Which is very unusual for OJFWA to do! Mary Regan going right away on that arm. She loves to work that arm, and there she is again, going right for it. Both her and her tag team partner, Yubari. Very, very focused on that arm, usually. You do notice this. Her opponent is certainly much, much bigger than her. But if I know Mary, that's not going to phase her one bit. However, it might make a move like this difficult as the size and the power of her opponent overpowering. Uh, Mary Regan. Mary not able to get that grip to close in that full Nelson. Regan. Oh, what a beautiful Enzui Giri. Regan still on the attack here with some elbows. And a slap. However, opponent slapping right back. Sending Regan to the corner. Oh, missing a body splash avalanche type maneuver. Trying to use her size advantage to take away some,、uh, some, some momentum of Mary Regan. Mary Regan whipping her opponent in that, that turnbuckle. And a monkey flip. Regan right away trying to go for that elbow. Her opponent able to get up before it's, it,、uh, it was effective at all. A little bit of back and forth here. Regan slapping away. And a big clothesline by that powerhouse red headed woman. Like she's in control now. Going to work on the champion. What a huge coup this could be for this woman if she were to be able to beat the champion. Exhibition match or not. Wait a minute, what's this? Elbow smash and a bulldog. I'm not sure I've ever seen Mary pull off one of those. And a nice knee to that arm, weakening that arm and that shoulder area further. What the hell? Why not give the leg some attention too? Mary now attacking the lower back and the neck with that Boston Crab. Seeing if she can find any weak spots for her opponent here. Exploring her opponent, so to speak. And another arm DDT. Taking her opponent down. Then an elbow drop. And again, going on that knee. Maybe she, she senses a weakness there somehow. Regan whipping her opponent to the corner. And a nice clothesline and a bulldog. The opponent dodging that one, that flipping senton. Able to get out of the way right quick. Mary leapfrogging. And a beautiful arm drag takedown. I think the shock of that sent the jolt right to our hard camera. 
Mary is like a computer, going right away for that arm. She's extremely focused, laser-like focus. And that is why she is still our current OJFWA Women's World Champion. Mary not missing a beat, even though missing that elbow. That's what makes a champion. However, her opponent in this exhibition match, getting the momentum here. Mary to the back. Her opponent fighting out of it with those hard, stiff shots to the head. Oh, pushing her away. What power. Or at least what a power difference. Her opponent clutching that arm there. Definitely something not right with that arm. Probably not very smart to try to land an elbow drop with an injured arm. Even if it's not exactly the injured one. Mary able to get out of that, uh, that headlock. Going right to that arm bar, to that DDT. Beautiful maneuver. And again, trying to yank that arm out of that shoulder. Oh! That shock sending that elbow straight to that canvas. I think I just saw uh, uh, the, the opponent's arm kind of flailing as she rolled away. However, it looks like Mary. Perhaps just to, probably just to weaken her opponent some more. That arm is hurting. She is favoring that arm. And wait a minute, what's this? Here we go, it's her arm bar. Her trademark arm bar. And needless to say, she taps. The laser-like focus of Mary Regan causing severe damage to that arm. What a tremendous victory by our champion and further proof that this is why uh, she is our champion and this is this is an example of the fact that we perhaps have the best wrestlers in the world here at OJFWA. Take nothing away from her opponent. Her opponent fought a good fight. However, she was, Mary Regan was just too much. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Her opponent getting up. And like the consummate professional she is, offering her hand. Shaking her head. And in fact, even waiting for her opponent to leave the ring before she begins her celebration. What a class act all the way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's take you back to a recent title defense uh, at SNF2, where she took on Joshi Legend in the center of the ring. This, of course, took place at Hammerstein Ballroom. New York City, this Joshi legend. This match, which went on for about 20 minutes, and a lot of it was what you see here. The Joshi legend, given everything she could to marry Regan. Regan looking like she was almost out of it a number of times during this match. The brutality shown towards Mary Regan of this Joshi legend, a former OJFWA women's champion herself before it was OJFWA. Really taking Mary Regan to school here. And almost like a bit of psychological uh, mind games here using Mary Regan's own tactics against her. Focusing on that arm. Going into one of her trademark submission maneuvers. Stranglehold Gamma. However, moments like that, Mary Regan able to escape in the nick of time. Avoiding serious damage with that Tope Suicida. 
here we go. The big final moment, a missed dropkick. The legend going for her finisher. Counter into a Northern Lights bomb here. And our own referee, the referee, counting the pinfall Ikawa, victory. What are you doing? Ikawa, enter and now we take you to her chair. most recent title defense outside. against Moami Amano at Yuki Matsuri, 2011. Harry whips Moami to the ropes and then Hurricane Rana. Referee counts one, two, and three. She defends. Oh, she defends. Five minutes, 55. Mary. Looking like she's trying to help Moami up. Off in her hand. Moami takes it. Another sign of good sportsmanship. Indeed. It's quite a feat. Especially in this day and age. Wait a minute! That's Amazonas! She made her debut on the first episode of Fight TV! And she's there along with Eriko and of course Moami Amano. What a vicious attack that was! God, this man is a monster, tossing him after that giant swing. This is unbelievable. Wait, Goozled slapped down to the ring. He's not moving. He's not moving. Mina. Minako looking on with concern. The gurney. Rolling past. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all for Yuki Matsuri. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in the beginning of the episode, we had a woman full of heart in Mary Regan, a generally good-natured woman. Now we have the complete opposite of that. And I hesitate to say the word evil, but, well, actually, I don't know. I really don't know. I wonder if he's aware of what he's doing. We'll be back after this. Do, 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 do. 
生懸命が好きです僕は DC マスターカードを選びました New Price. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for still tuning in to OJFWA Fight TV. And what a monster of a man this Caleb Da! Before the break, you saw what he was responsible for. The torment in the family of the former champion Hidenoni Tsujimoto. The physical injuries and near death experience of the very same man. Now, we have a very special match. Again, this is an exhibition match. But, and here's the big one, but, it is a gauntlet match against three men. One at a time, as each man is defeated, the next man will come out immediately. What if Caleb Dodd is defeated? Well, if you're going to ask that question, I suppose you haven't been watching OJFWA very long, and whoa, what a start. A huge boot to the face of this masked individual. Perhaps a fan back in the old days of Copyright McKay, John Copyright McKay. Look at this huge creature just going to town. Knocking him down with his huge ham hocks and just standing still. Just standing still, letting his opponent get up. The blank face on that man is very telling. Also, you'll notice, ooh, what power. You'll notice that he is without his manager completely without his manager here. Manager being Jack Da. Not sure exactly what happened, but perhaps, perhaps Jack felt no need to come out here. And with that kind of power display, who can blame that kind of thinking? Look at that power. He's just toying with him. Big backdrop. Quite frankly, if I was this opponent here, I would just end it right now. Just stay down. I don't know, feign being knocked out or something. Whatever you could do to get out of this. What viciousness. And another backdrop. And look at this power and slamming him down right away. Oh, and what's this? The man is up and down. However, that's not it for Caleb Dodd. No, we've seen him do this in Champion Soul Tournament. He loves to swing his opponents around with that giant swing. A fitting move for such a, such a man such as Caleb Dodd. And going away with some punches. Quite frankly, he could have finished it at that choke slam. Hell, he could have finished it at that first body slam, to be quite honest. Here he goes again, grabbing his opponent by the neck, this time using both hands. And going back to it again. He could finish his opponent by now, going back to those body slams. 
Just end the match. Just end the match. Again with a suplex. This guy is more than done. He's pretty much just a... Oh! A walking corpse. Wisely attempting to escape. And if he was smart, he'd leave this area right now. Barely able to walk under his own power. Oh, and a vicious clothesline takes him down. And again, going back to those punches. Especially that last vicious one. An uppercut to the skull. Introducing him to his knee. Good God, will you just pin him already? Oh, and a clubbing blow to the back. Oh, come on! And again, with that gorilla slam. And what a, what a maneuver that was. Just end the match, Dodd. Just end the damn match. Okay, here we go. Oh, too close to the ropes. Well, that's not going to last very long. And another big blow taking his opponent down. Oh, come on. Don't fight back. Oh, see? You shouldn't have done that, boy. Shouldn't have done that. And it's academic. I told you. It's over. And his next opponent. This time draped in all black. Whoa! And an attempted spear. You see those a lot these days, especially in the independent circuits. These spears that they love to throw. And Dodd going right at the attack. Dodging that spear. Just pushing him down. And a huge headbutt. There he is. Massive choke slam and taking him down. Finished many a man with that, especially when followed up with that big splash. And he's done as well. A man twice the size. And wait a minute, the third opponent is none other than our very own Shallow, who gets shellacked with that clothesline. Shallow, of course, is indeed an impressive athlete in his own right. But I really don't know what possessed him ooh, to take this match. Shallow is in extreme pain already. I wonder how long our boy Shallow will be able to... Oh my God, toss him like a lawn dog. Thank God this happened in a ring and not outside in the concrete. Dot. Sending Shallow over the top rope. Dodd continuing. Oh, no, 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 no. Good God, right into those stairs. Look at that huge size differential there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I felt that over here. I felt that over here. I really think that's enough to... Oof. Oof. I really think that was enough to put Shallow away there. No disrespect. I've known the guy for a while. Talked to him back in the old SRW days. But, uh... Yeah, this... This is just an extended torture session oh and a vicious introduction to the knee once again looks like Dodd is calling for the finish here is it indeed going to be time oh and a headbutt 
with such force. A gigantic, massive head. Oh, wait a minute. Going again. For that giant swing. This is... This may be the end. Shallow is up. And Shallow is down. And again with that splash. Tommy Thompson counts to three. No big surprise there. However, God is not done. He is not done. Somebody please get him out of there. Tommy Thompson has escaped that ring. He does not want anything of Caleb Dodd. Well, ladies and gentlemen, next week, we will have a retrospective of OJFWA from the first event all the way up to this current event, this current day. Whether you meet OJFWA or not, you do not want to miss this insightful retrospective. See you next time on Fight TV. <laughs> Thank you.